Hi hey guys, <laughs> apologies for this one going up a bit late. <laughs> you know, life, work, the whole nine yards, all that. Basically I'm just recording this pretty much straight after work. Um, I went to the clinic again in Sheffield the other week, because I'm recording this about a week and a bit late, because normally I'll try and record it while I'm out on location, but I recorded this one a little bit late just because it was getting a little bit weird because the weather was a bit patchy and I couldn't really get, find a good spot to sit plus it was a bit warm in most of the places and there was tons of people around so I just thought you know what sack it <laughs> I'll record when I can remember uh, so far what they've said is that everything is going fine there was a bit of a delay because some of the specialists have moved on one or two people have left and there's always going to be the backlog so basically everything is going on as it was they just needed to clear up a couple of things on mine that's all so it was basically with me it was what part of me was the furry part what part is me as sarah what is me as craig who what is kit all of that where it all flows from and everything and as far as they're concerned, they can start the treatment as soon as the rest of the clinical group have said yes. So everything will be flowing on soon. Pretty much after that, only a few days after that, was the local pride in the area, which I was uh, joined in for about an hour or so, because then I had the work to do, which was basically a chance for everyone to get totally hammered. Yeah. If you know how call centres, and especially when you've got a couple of rowdy peeps, and you've got some mad, mad people that work in your management group, yeah, you can imagine how smashed we got. The whole of not just my floor, but the floor above. So it's two floors worth of people got absolutely smashed. And this was properly messy. That was the best party I've been to so far. And it was in a beefer night. At Club of Beefer. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, there was plenty of shots going around. And some of the managers also got totally smashed. Which is a bonus. That's when they, those guys get smashed. But yeah. Messy. Which is what you want when it gets out there. You always wanted to get a bit lean. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, so for me, it's a good old run. So things are going well. Moved house, got this new job. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to say the company that I work for. I'm not exactly going to say the brand that I work for. <clears throat> but I work for a major telecommunications company. And I work in a call centre. Yay. Oh, it's always fun. It's best when you get some of the more awkward calls. But hey, anything's better. It's all fun. It's a job. And <laughs> it's decent wage. So yeah, I will say that. As for the rest of it, um, I've been ordering some more stuff off eBay. <laughs> I'm experimenting again. <sighs> yeah, I'm experimenting with more things on eBay. So things are flowing all right at the moment. I've ordered some new rocks. Rather than spending 250 quid, I found them for about 160 on eBay. So yeah, tops. Also been ordering some of my old cyber gear again. So I've been spending a bit of cash on Cyberdog for a while. Plug! Eh, not really. Non-spawn, but hey, I don't really care. I made the money. I'll spend it. <laughs> the rest of it, basically, yeah. Um, from what the expert, from what the eggheads there are saying is basically everything is fine. I can carry on as normal. They're going to put it to the rest of the group. And they will start the hormone therapy as soon as there is a possible move. So that will all be good. And just as a piece of help for some people out there, if any of you are getting any shit thrown at you and you're getting abuse, just turn it around in your head. Anyone says you're ugly, you don't belong. Just think to yourself, hey, I'm beautiful. I belong. You've just validated me. The more they give you hate, the more you stick two up at the world, the more they're going to give you hate, the more confidence you can gain from that. You can grow exponentially 
for all of this. No matter how much hate they throw at you, they will never be you. You're better than them. They're so small and so insignificant, they have to find something on you and about you to pick at. You could be the most perfect person in the world and they are going to pick at you. I know this one from experience because I get it every freaking day. There's a slug that needs salting. Not assaulting, it just needs some salt. Throw a little bit of salt into it, you know. It aggravates me, it says words, I... It's nothing. I get it a lot. No. Me, 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 I just don't care anymore. I've grown so used to abuse from smut and morons and trash and parasites, which is all they are. Their brains are so tiny they can't understand anything. They have to find things to pick at. Now, brush those people aside, ignore them. Their day will come. Someone else will deal with them. Someone will take those people away. They will disappear. They're not part of you. They don't need to be anything to do with you. They can disappear. They don't matter. It's all about you. You belong. You are beautiful. You are perfect. You are you. There's only one you. No one can be you but you. Don't hide. Be who you are. Throw it all out there. Put it all up. No one cares. Because you are you. Only you matter. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, it's all fine. Just be yourself. That's all it is. Be true to yourself. And don't lie to yourself. Don't try and hide. Just go out there. Be fabulous. It can be all rainbows and smokes and glitters and streamers everywhere and parties and drums and everything man that's what it is for me at work everyone at work has accepted it i walk around every day with my forms in i have my ears my collar and my tail i can dress how the hell i want i found a job where everyone in there is accepting and everyone is fine Screw the world. Screw the outside world. They do not belong. They don't matter. Their opinions, a lot of it, is based on nothing. They know nothing. They will learn one day. So it doesn't really matter. This was more self-help for you guys. More than me talking. So all I will say is, peace.